Hey there, know thyself. Sharon Warnell here. Welcome to day 1991, 1991. Year my son was born. We're looking at and working on relationships this month for this year's annual challenge, the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. And today we're going through the A on the SOAP framework, which stands for analyzing alternatives and taking action, right? We want to act now. As soon as we make a decision or a choice or decide on something, we want to take action toward that decision so we can determine, like tomorrow, are we making progress? Are we moving toward what we want or not? So we use a tool and a short quick quick oh I find it nope I didn't put it away head heart and intuition graphic it's a way of taking something that's really subjective I'm looking at my relationship with myself and I'm like well, how am I going to improve my relationship with myself what are some different ways so yesterday we came up with a bunch of different options I circled three I actually picked four and then I ran through the head heart intuition tool and I actually said I'd do it on a scale of one to four and then I did it one to ten so came up with two that tied and I'm picking one of those to take action on now to take an action today because as soon as I pick something or make a decision which is picking them is making a decision what thing I'm going to act on first I want to I want to actually follow up and take some physical action with that now physical action might mean I'm just going to think about the topic or I'm going to brainstorm more detail for that particular action item but today I picked uh invest in some kind of personal development. So I will do some online research today because that's the quickest, easiest way for me to find something to invest in for personal development. And I will find some program or some course or some book or something and I will actually take action to either sign up for, begin taking that course, do it today, etc. cetera. Uh, our idiom today, really good idiom, is know thyself. And we talked about uh, the importance of knowing ourselves inside out, which also includes knowing our business inside out. Shared how I learned that my personal limitations tend to show up in my businesses and my business life and my career and my, my work life if I don't do something to counteract them. It's why I like to work in teams. I like to pick team members and board members and things that balance off the areas of my life that number one, either I don't like to do, or number two, I'm just really terrible at. And usually, they're one and the same thing. If it's, I don't like to do it, I don't invest the time, the energy, the education, the knowledge, the and, and, and study into getting better at that thing. There's things that we're awesome at, and there's things that we're terrible at. And I remember early on in my corporate career, and even in school, all through school, at least here in America, our teachers pointed out everything we did wrong, right? You'd write an essay, and... I would get mine back with tons of red marks on <laughs> because back then I wasn't necessarily, I was a terrible speller and I wasn't necessarily uh, a great writer. I was redundant, and et cetera. And I used too many words and things. So I'd get those papers back with all the red marks of what we did wrong. We focused on what we did wrong and our weaknesses. And I think, I don't remember when it was, probably in my late 20s, early 30s, when I flipped that around and I said, okay, I can be like everybody else and I can focus on what's bad about me and try to fix those things or I can focus on what I'm really, really good at, what my strengths are and build on those and then find ways to, to band-aid or fix or supplement the areas that I'm not strong at. Hire people, delegate, come up with systems, processes, automations that take care of the things I don't like to do and I'm not great at. Uh, so we talked about that. So I think it's a great idiom. I think it's a great idiom to know that we are constant works in progress, right? We, we're born, we're not born knowing anything. We have to figure it all out and learn it. And our journey of discovery and doing that is really our life's purpose. It's really what we're here for and what life's all about. So love to know what you think about this particular idiom and expression as well as have you ever used the head heart and intuition tool I found a long time ago that I would often make decisions with my head I seldom made decisions with my heart and usually I just totally ignored and shut down my intuition and every time I went back through my lifeline and we'll do that exercise this month as well with respect to our relationships every time I went back and I looked at big decisions or decisions where I felt like the outcome wasn't what I wanted or I made a huge mistake or I had a, a huge loss or failure I found that it was because I didn't listen to one of those three aspects of me aspects of myself either my head my I didn't do enough research my heart I didn't tap into how did it make me feel how does this decision this choice this project 
make me actually feel? Am I excited and curious? Am, is it a reach and I, I want to do it? Or are there reservations and dread and fear and doubt and worry, right? And we need to balance those things. But if I add my intuition, if I look at all three of those areas, when I do that, I make the right decision. The right decision for me at the time is how I define the right decision, right? Uh, because over time, as we change and grow, what's right for us 20 years ago definitely isn't right for us now, right? All right, if I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow, heading into another weekend and excited about that. This whole last weekend and week has been uh, family and friends and holiday celebrations here in America, and I love that. All right, have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.